The ACR is a very competitive member of the assault rifle category, largely due to its ability to accurately place automatic fire further out than any other weapon. As long as your aim is accurate and your awareness of the enemy's position is keen, you'll find the ACR is a very effective weapon. played a lot of Modern Warfare 2. Not the new one, the good one. And my favorite gun in the game by far was the ACR. So since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with the gun. Magpul PTS used to make an airsoft replica of the ACR, which was a gun I desperately wanted. But unfortunately, Magpul PTS no longer exists, and their ACR has been discontinued for some time. The only way to get this gun is to buy them secondhand. The original Airsoft ACR also had proprietary internals that aren't the best quality, and I wanted a gun that not only looked the part, but could be built up to be a reliable platform. So I began looking for a suitable replacement. In 2016, the Airsoft company ICS created their take on the ACR, calling it the CXB Ape. It captured the silhouette of the ACR, but it just doesn't look right. What the fuck is that? So, I took it upon myself to modify the ICS gun so I could live out my Modern Warfare 2 ACR fantasies. So how does ICS's ACR compare to the Magpul version? Let's talk about it. Starting from the back, we have a folding stock. There are a few downsides. Firstly, it doesn't look like the ACR stock. Secondly, the build quality of the stock does not feel the greatest. I haven't had any issues personally, but I've heard stories of the stock breaking when the gun was dropped. Now, just like the original ACR stock, this one has adjustable length of pull and cheek height. However, the biggest downside to this stock is that it does not stay secure when it is being extended. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never run. This almost nullifies securing a sling to this stock. I get around this by using a one-point sling, but using a two-point sling on this gun will be a problem if you want to mount it to the stock. Other than that, it improves on the original ACR stock in almost every way. The battery is stored in this stock, which makes it very easy to plug in. Battery space is also decent. I run a buffer tube LiPo in this stock. The original Magpul ACR had the battery in the handguard, which has limited space and makes the gun slightly more front heavy. Having it in the stock is a better solution. Moving on, the upper of the gun is one piece and all metal, just like the original ACR. I've opted to paint it gray for the Modern Warfare 2 vibes. It has a full length rail at the top, with plenty of room for all your accessories. The lower, interestingly, is also metal. The original ACR has a polymer lower, as well as later Bushmaster models. Only Remington prototypes of the ACR ever had aluminum lowers. This ICS version, like the Remington prototypes, has a metal one that comes with a nice ambi selector. It also comes with a removable AR pistol grip. This is a huge improvement over the original ACR. The original one had a molded-in grip to the lower. It was comfortable, but not exchangeable. The ICS lower allows you to install the pistol grip of your choice. The only caveat is that any pistol grip with a beaver tail will not fit. Additionally, this allows you to access your motor quickly, should you need to. The mag release is huge and ambidextrous. Originally, the ICS gun comes with a third mag release on the left side of the gun, but I've had it removed. The mag release is wider than an M4 mag release, 
and also has raised edges around it so it cannot be accidentally pressed as easily. Most mags drop free. Current production models of the ICS CXP Ape fit most AR style mags. However, the initial release models in 2016, which this one is, did not work with static mags. Filing is needed at the back portion of inside the mag well in order for static mags to fit. The charging handle can be swapped to either side. This charging handle pulls back and locks the fake bolt to reveal the hop-up. The hop-up can be easily adjusted through the ejection port. Pressing down on the bolt release near the trigger guard will release the fake bolt. In its stock form, the gun has electric blowback. However, if you replace a stock piston like I have, this will disable the blowback. This brings us to the most interesting aspect of this gun. Out of the box, the gun comes with a key mod handguard. If you don't mind a look, it feels decently well made and is quite comfortable to grip. However, it has one glaring problem. It's ugly as hell. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Unfortunately, original Airsoft ACR handguards are difficult to find, and the real ones are expensive. So, I bought a WE MSK polymer handguard, modeled after the original ACR handguard. It took a bit of fitting around the QD points, but was relatively easy to fit. The slots on the handguard may look like M-Lock, but are in fact Magpul's older MOE rails. In many ways, this is M-Lock's older brother. They take rail panels and attach in a similar fashion to M-Lock. The rails are very solid and have had no issue attaching foregrips on this handguard. But, if you don't mind filing, M-Lock parts, such as this Arasaka light mount, will fit. The handguard feels very sturdy and also quite comfortable to grip. It's my favorite part of the gun, since it makes it look that much closer to the real ACR. With this handguard installed, the barrel becomes recessed under the handguard. I opted to put an Acetec Bifrost tracer on the barrel, and it sticks out just enough to complete the look. Overall, the externals aren't bad. They're metal where they need to be, and have held up so far, and accommodate some well thought out changes, namely the battery in the stock, and the pistol grip. So let's move on to the internals. In my opinion, the internals are the best part of this gun. This gun uses the ICS split gearbox system. This is a gearbox that separates the compression components from the gears and electronic components into two separate halves. This makes doing tech work much simpler compared to a conventional gearbox, such as the original ACR. Other than the hop-up chamber and nozzle, every single part of this gun is compatible with version 2 gearbox parts. This is a huge advantage. Version 2 gearbox parts are everywhere, since that's what the M4 platform uses. If you want to upgrade this platform, as I have, it's as simple as picking out what the M4 counterpart would be. Triggers, motors, gears, they will all work. I haven't done much to this gun internally. I replaced the piston with an SHS full metal tooth rack piston, changed the motor for a Lonex A2 motor, and installed a Perrin hybrid MOSFET. I've recently had some cycle detection failure errors from the Perrin MOSFET, but it seems to be an issue with the Lonex motor. So, is the ICS CXP Ape worth it? In my opinion, yes. The externals are nice enough, and with a new handguard, makes it look pretty close to the ACR. And the internals are pretty good, and are mostly compatible with version 2 gearbox parts. If you're looking for a reliable, upgradable platform that can look like the ACR with some work, the ICS CXP-8 is a great choice. <laughs>